So in this session, um, I'm going to talk about the logging, uh, how to do the logging in the ASP.NET uh, Core Web APIs using nlog. So there are multiple options, but I'll be talking about nlog here. So before uh, doing the demo, uh, let's talk about a little bit what is actually the logging. Uh, logging is something very important for any application you build. Mm, so either it could be web application or the API application. So there are different sources. ASP.NET Core you know, ships with third-party uh, logging provider and building providers. So the built-in providers like you know console, you can log the uh, the details in the console, or the debugger, or the event source, Windows event source, and it also supports for you know the Azure Azure App Service file, Azure App Service blob, or application insights. I'm also going to make a video on the application insights in a separate video, and. Um, also, the third-party logging providers. So there are tons of third-party logging providers. Um, for the uh, uh, some of them, not even uh, listed here. Uh, Elma, Gulf, or JSN Log. Frankly speaking, I've not used all of this. I've used the N Log and Log for Net. Not listed here. Um, these are the two things are uh, heavily used in the .NET applications. Okay. So now uh, let's take a look how to create the application and uh, log the exceptions or log the information, log the trace, uh, different uh, kind of logging we can do it. So. These are the steps we need to perform in order to create the complete the logging demo. First, we need to create an application and then you know add the nlog nuget package for the ASP.NET Core project, web API, and create nlog file, which is going to hold all the configuration for the nlog, and then update the startup.cs file to use that nlog.config file and actually write the um, log information in the controller or startup.cs or the program.cs or wherever you want. So let's start to take a look at the demo now. So let me create a new project. So let's click on the new project and select the web, ASP.NET uh, Core Web Application. Yeah, we can give the value name. I will leave it for now. So click on OK. Then I'm going to select the API app. So I'm going to uh, apply the log from the uh, web API project. Click OK. So before we do anything, make sure that the project which we created is working as expected. So press F5 to run the application. Okay, so now the application is still building. Yeah, so the application is working fine. Then click on the dependencies and add the NuGet package, manage NuGet package, and browse. Click on nlog uh, web.asp.net code. So this is the uh, NuGet package, which I'm going to install now. So 
So once the you get package is added, we should uh, create uh, as a second step. Uh, we should create the n log file. So go and add the n log file. Add new item. Select the n log dot config. Then click OK. Looks like there is something wrong. So looks like we created the C sharp file. Let me go and create the new file again. Right click add new item. Then this time I select the config file. Dotnet core data gender. So since I've already uh, have the file uh, just to save some time, I'm going to reuse the the file which I'm already using it. So this nlog file um, should contain all the details. Um, so this is going to support the nlog uh, for the ASP.NET code. And this is how we create the variables in this file, like you know one of the variables is uh, date layout. So you can specify the what format you want the date, then exception layout, common layout. So I just used in one of my previous projects. So I, I just copied these things and then log directly a uh, directory, which is like, you know, we can give um, the application five. Then, so these are the targets. Um, so I think we might not be using, if, if you're planning to log the exceptions in the event log, so we should be using the target type event log. Um, we can use the console as a target type. And here I'm, I'm trying to use the file as a source. So this will be the name, this will be the file name, this will be the layout variable. So layout variable has the format. And then, you know, archive file name. So if it is exceeding uh, this file, it will be archived and maintain the sequence. And so this is the uh, minimum label trace, like, you know, about trace. So we can log battle, error, warning, and and debug trace, etc. So these are all the different types of um, sources it's supported. So once we have this uh, nlog.config file, uh, we can configure in the startup.cs file. Um, so since we already have the constructor, we can add another parameter called i environment. I host uh, environment env 
and then env dot um, we can configure hand log this required the using statement we can add log dot web so this actually uh, configure the end log file and then in the next step this required one dependency injection so let's go and add this in the config services and using this using statements then in the next step add the end log to the sp.net core so this is going to be added in the config file here we can add i think we need another parameter here i log factory log factory dot add end log this requires end log extension dot logging and then log web so once we are done with the configuration we can now write the actual logging if i want to write the actual logging in the controller let's say so this is the one going to be called on the web when i run the service so let me create a um, private read only underscore read only i log i log of value controller underscore logger so again this requires microsoft extension and then in the constructor create a constructor we need i logger then underscore logger equal to Browser. now in the inside the controller action you can say logger dot log critical so we can log different information i will say test log critical and then log debug same thing log information or error then log just for testing we can see how many files it creates log information each one should be in a separate file that's why i'm creating making sure that all these files are created then also do uh, exception so let me create uh, n1 number one i will assign a divide by zero i will try to create a divide by zero error and two equal to zero then int result equal to n1 divide by n2 this should throw the exception and we should be logging that exception in the log file now let's press f5 
and I should be able to see the um, logging uh, the files created with uh, different files for each one. Since I've also configured the console, it should also log inside the console window. So let's see, this is still working. Let's take a look at the console output. Now I see test critical, test logging, test error. So all that is done. Now I can also see the divide by zero error. So if I go to the logging, so let me finish this, F5, it's finished. If I go to logging, uh, so right now I've used logs folder. Inside the logs folder, I have um, application. So it looks like the event log uh, configuration is incomplete. So I'll comment this for now. And then click F5. So when I run, uh, I'm expecting the values.controller should log all the events in a separate file. So each one should have separate file. So the file location is configured in the nlog config file. So by default, it will be using the C drive. In the C drive, uh, it should be logs and then application. So that's the name of the folder. So let me click on F12, F5. So now I should be able to see the information, everything in the console log. So the console log, uh, so the console log with the information, yeah, so this is the divide by zero error. Before that, I have logging something, uh, you know, test debug, test critical, test error all this is in the console. So console is fine. Now go back to the C drive and C logs has the application folder with the different uh, file. If I open the debug, so debug test, error test, along with the error information, all these format, everything is actually list, uh, mentioned inside the config, uh, nlog config file. So everything is working as expected. So this is the event, this is the battle. So this is how we configure the nlog file in the ASP.NET uh, web API projects. Thanks.